Scottish Water's flagship construction project, the Glencourse Water Treatment Works, has been exclusively serving nearly half a million customers across Edinburgh and parts of Midlothian since March 2012. The £130 million investment incorporates cutting-edge technology with leading environmental engineering practice. The works is capable of delivering 175 million litres of water to Scotland's capital city and surrounding areas every day. That's the equivalent of 50 Olympic-sized swimming pools. Combining Scottish Water's largest ever consultation with the results of a detailed civil engineering study whittled six locations down to one. Raw water supplies are delivered through gravity from our reservoirs in the borders to the works, driving the inlet main's hydro turbine, which sustainably provides a third of Glencourse's 200 kilowatt energy needs. The same natural force which delivers treated water from Glencourse directly to customers across the capital. Construction delivery partners Black & Veatch have installed the pioneering counter-current dissolved air filtration and flotation treatment process combining two highly efficient filtration processes into one unit. The main difference between a cocoa DAF uh, and a DAF system and a conventional DAF system uh, is that the coagulated water flows counter current to the aeration bubbles. Um, this gives a, an increased efficiency in the, the process um, by increasing the probability of particle air bubble contact as the coagulated water flows through the, the, uh, the curtain of air bubbles uh, during the treatment process. The raw water is chemically conditioned to produce tiny flock particles and then it's passed through a variety of flotation and filtration process units prior to disinfection and pH correction and then storage in one of the largest water storage tanks in Europe. Even residue from this process is retreated on site ensuring as little of the raw water as possible is disposed of as waste, making Glencourse one of the most efficient water treatment works in the country. All of this is housed under Scotland's largest grass roof. In a world first, the roof was specially blended from a mix of pentlands, wildflowers and grasses. It covers an area the size of four football pitches. The project for me, <laughs> although it kind of finishes at the farm gate when the product drives out the door, it didn't. It kind of captured the imaginations of everybody involved in the project. You know that it was the kind of nice, touchy-feely side of the of, of of a large construction project. So it did feel like a real collaborative effort, and um, that's something that we don't normally, you know, we don't normally engage that much in the growing process with our with our customers. Where possible, the project has used locally sourced materials to ensure a natural fit reduce the transportation footprint and reduce maintenance. Working with the project's education programme, 60 oak trees have been planted to leave a living legacy for young people within the community. The grass roofs also play a role in harvesting rainwater, storing it in biodiverse wetlands located around the perimeter of the site. These wetlands provide a really rich habitat for a diversity of plants, animals, birds and insects. In another world first, the project team introduced a mobile pipeline production plant on the route of the new trunk main. This allowed extra long pipes to be rolled out of the production plant and straight into the ground, reducing a million lorry miles. The equivalent of driving to the moon and back twice. These extra long pipes also require fewer welds, making the pipeline more robust. The production unit itself can manufacture pipe from 16 millimetre up to 1600 millimetre. And because of the setup of the equipment, the production rate is about two to three times uh, faster than what it would be in a standard factory produced situation. Polymer goes in at one end, it's heated up, it's injected in, under pressure, and at the other end, you've got a nice big round black pipe. Simple as that. Sliding the new mains through existing infrastructure ensured that we kept the Edinburgh City Bypass flowing and that drivers were never disturbed by the pipeline extension. The Glencourse Water Project has lifted several international awards and hosted visiting dignitaries from both home and abroad. It's a very modern plant and this has been a huge investment bringing a lot of jobs during the construction phase but also increasing the reliability and the quality of the water supply 
to nearly half a million people. This truly amazing feat of engineering, the Glen Course Water Treatment Works, will now replace the existing works at Fairmile Head and Annick Hill, delivering a 21st century drinking water supply to Scotland's capital city.